Hey everybody, it's uh, Memorial Day weekend, and my wife and I took off on a little trip, and we bounced around all over the place just trying to get some treasure. Enjoy. Okay, so I got permission to do this eight, late 1800s, like eight, nine, 1898 or something house. And the cool thing is, the people who live here want to try metal detecting for the first time. So I brought a couple of my backup detectors and I'm going to teach them how to detect a little bit. And my wife made it, so anyways, this is going to be awesome. Hopefully we can find some cool stuff. All right, here's my first signal at this old house. I think I got a silver ring. Silver ring? Yep. Already? Look at that. Little flowers on it. All right, give me a sec. Let me see if I can see a mark in here. Yep, there it is. It says <laughs> it says sterling silver in there. Let me see if I can. Boom. Look at that. First signal. All right, I got me a really cool old buckle. A buckle? Yep, that looks like it's got some age. So she found this big weird ring. This is her first find ever. Look at that face. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a piece of like horse stuff. Could be. Some horse tack or something. A little small though for horse stuff, but. So the same hole, she found this little horse. So that must've used to hang off of these. I wonder if that was. So that's like a decoration, like an old decoration. Look at it. See, treasure. She had a little baby chicken. No way. Yeah. Where's your pig? Oh, I see it. So, remember she found the chicken. And then, Buzz, see him? He found a pig to it. A long nosed pig. Kind of cool though. Look at that. Okay, so unfortunately, that house that we were doing was mostly fill dirt. So we switched to the park. And I got my first little ring at the park. Look at that. It's a junker, but it's like little flowers. Anyways. This park's definitely had all the high tones dug out of it. That's the kind I love. Going for the gold, baby. Okay, well, I got me another one of those little feather earrings. This one almost looks like it could be gold. It's got a little slot right there full of dirt. Maybe that's a mark. I don't know. I'll have to check it out later. All right, check that out. That's exactly how I pulled it out. Is this gonna right at the base of this big old tree here? Hmm. Hey, if anybody finds the rest of this penny, can you send it to me, please? Haven't done a live dig in a while. I think I may either have a weedy here or some deep silver. <clears throat> yeah, it was, it's really deep and it's a real consistent, yeah, 26, 27 signal. So, there's, you never know in these parks, sometimes with a fill, you could have a, oh, there it is. What do we got? Man, that was easy. Hey, 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 look at that, some Canadian silver. Yeah, I'll finish cleaning that up at home, but that's a 1957 Canadian dime. Boom, live dig. All right, I just got me a Sacagawea dollar. 
Oh, had me go in there for a second. I couldn't tell what that was. Look at that sweet shovel. Someone left out here in the water. So I've been trying the water. I got a few coins. I haven't found anything really amazing, but this is pretty awesome. So <clears throat> this came up a seven. Looks like it's some sort of butterfly jewelry. Snap or something. I'm not really sure. Okay, so this is probably one of the least kept playgrounds I've ever seen. <laughs> Digging's tough. Uh, but I just pulled this up. It's junk. But it's jewelry. Pretty cool. I'll take it. <laughs> anyway. I feel a gold ring in my future. I feel it. Well, I'm hoping I feel a gold ring in my future. Alright, I just got me some sort of junk necklace here. See eyes and the pendant. That's about it. Must have got water in it or something. I don't know. It's pretty cool though. Look at that big old bracket. That was only down a couple inches. So what I'm doing is, this park, I pulled so much stuff out of it. And, you know, every, every detectorist, including myself, we all run to the middle of the park. Well, nibbling on the edges today. See what we can get out here in no man's land. Well, I thought I was gonna take a penny, but <clears throat> turns out to be, I don't know, a pendant or, I have no idea, some of jeans. Let's guess. Yeah, this is kind of cool. It's like a snap or something, like a button top. But it's got like glass or something inlaid in it. I see stuff like that every day. Well, somebody had a bad day. And we got duck or ball. Which is the dog? <laughs> Gunner, come here. Gunner. All right, I guess he wanted duck. He still wants duck. <laughs> he is eyeing some duck, man. You don't even like ducks. You don't even like ducks, man. <laughs> <laughs> 